The fishing season is underway and there is a law enforcement team that you do need to watch out for. We met up with Mick Bakke who tells us what exactly a conservation officer does. We do a variety of things. Uh, our role is, is managing our natural resources and kind of being a referee out there for our fish and wildlife to make sure that everybody that's out there enjoying our natural resources is playing by the rules. When getting ready for the fishing season, every person needs a license in order to take part. Baki tells us where you can purchase a license from. Uh, and where do you go? Um, certainly our office uh, sells all of the necessary licenses and permits. Um, for example, even the people that were hosting that walleye tournament needed to come to our, our office and, and we'll issue them a, a permit for that event. Angling licenses, hunting licenses and so forth are all available here, but they're also available in various locations in the city. There's different uh, vendors as we call them, uh, whether it's at Walmart or Canadian Tire and most of the, the gas stations in town also sell uh, a lot of the licenses. They may not sell everything, but uh, they'll still have most of the basic needs for all of our residents. Baki goes over the ways for people to find out what their limits are for the fishing season. Well, they can usually find that. They can go online. Um, we have a web uh, website. Uh, where they can check you know any updates for the new coming season we also print uh, a hunting and fishing guide the, the fishing guide is out it's already available and we have those uh, our hunting guide is a little late this year and we don't anticipate getting that until uh, uh, another week anyway towards the end of the month um, and that's where they'll get majority of their information um, it'll answer probably 70 to 90 percent of the questions people have regarding limits and, and season dates and so forth, any closures that there might be. But if it doesn't answer any questions they might have, then of course we're available. If fishermen are found to be over the limit, the conservation officers do have to look into each case differently as there is no black or white when it comes to some situations. There is always a gray area and each case is different. Baki goes over some key things to know before heading out onto the waters. I would just suggest that everybody be prepared, you know, do your homework in advance. It's uh, like anything else, you want to uh, study up on it before you get out there, you know, make sure you know when the season dates are and what the limits are. And, uh, and if you have a question, don't be afraid to ask. I mean, and, and don't always trust uh, the guy across the street because he may not be the most knowledgeable person uh, for whatever the question might be. Most of the time, maybe that's acceptable, but anything that could be um, questionable, then yeah, come and call us. Um, we're accessible by phone. We all have cell phones now, so it's, it's pretty easy to track us down somewhere. Um, and beyond that, uh, get outside and enjoy the outdoors. That's what it's all about. The fishing season runs from May 8th until March 31st, 2011. For the Estevan Mercury.ca, I'm Janelle Butler.